my name's Fraser Foote and I'm the Managing Director of the Wellington Electric Boat Building Company responsible for building this boat Icariri behind us, the first completely electric passenger ferry in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, so we operate the uh, Wellington Harbour Ferry Service. We sail between Queen's Wharf here in Wellington and Days Bay uh, over in Lower Hutt. Stopping at Machu Soames Island, which is a nature reserve in the middle of the harbour, uh, through the, our off-peak time. The boat's uh, nine, 19 metres long, um, and it's got a beam of 7 metres, and um, yeah, our existing ferries, the biggest one, 16 and a half metres, so it's quite a lot bigger. Takes, this one takes 132 passengers, our existing biggest ferry is 99 passengers, so it's a third bigger. Um, it's got... Um, you know, it's got five and a half thousand kilograms of batteries on board, 72 batteries, 36 on each side, because it's a, oh, obviously it's a, it's a displacement um, catamaran. Each part of the boat goes through an engineering process, goes through all the calculations. So, so Gurit use all the techniques that they have and the experience to engineer each part of the boat for what it's supposed to do. Obviously the hulls are, more, are stronger than the, the top of it, um, but they had, a, they had a big focus on trying to reduce weight as well. My name is Gabriella Jimena Shohas. I work at Oricon New Zealand as an environment and planning consultant and we are a design, engineering and advisory company. We worked on the business case for Ikeriri and future development of electric ferries in New Zealand and my role was to look at the policy and um, sustainability aspirations for New Zealand and how the electric ferries would build um, us towards a low carbon future. So we know that the transport sector um, has decarbonisation as one of its really important goals for the next couple of decades. So Oricon wanted to be involved with this project because it's a real project, it's not just a concept, it's not just a pilot, this is real infrastructure that can be built out in Wellington and we can actually achieve these goals and we can achieve them quickly. One of the big things that we did was show how the electric ferries aligned with government's overall national policy and aspirations. So in terms of our low carbon future and sustainable development goals and how the electric ferries really sit within that. So overall we found that the electric ferry performs wildly better compared to uh, things that we may, may think is quite clean and green. So on an embodied carbon perspective and an operational carbon perspective, the ferry is clearly better than either an electric car or an Uber. I know all the operators around New Zealand, no one is building new boats, diesel boats. I mean, there's two that are going to be hybrid for Auckland Harbour, but within the next five or ten years, everyone's going to have to change to sustainable uh, options. Electric ferries are the way to go.